Hi, my name is Tom Casey, and I wanted to do a quick short video today on your limousine company. Basically, the purpose of this video is just to compare you with one of your competitors in terms of where you guys show up in search results when people are searching online for limo service in Orlando. I'm only going to cover two factors today because I want to keep this video short, um, but I do want to run a couple things by you. Before I jump into that, though, I want to show you how many people are searching online for limo service. This is a tool from Google. It actually goes out and does a count of monthly search terms. It gives you an average. And what you're looking at here is for the last 12 months from March 2015 back to April of 2014, how many people are searching online for limo service in Orlando. Now it rounds it up to the nearest 100. You're going to see it's a lot. Okay, April, 1,900. May, 1,300. Then the down to 1,000. Back up to 1,300. 1,000, 720 is the lowest. 1,300, then 1,900. And look at March, 2,400. That's a lot of people searching for limo service. So I thought this would be a good exercise. So what I did is went over here to Google, did a search for limo service Orlando. This is page one right here. Um, let's see where I find you. You are over here. There you are, Ocean Drive Trends and Limo.com. This is your website right here. And you are on page five. Okay? Now, I know that you do you, you service other parts of Florida, not just Orlando, like Daytona and whatnot. But still, I know that you would like to be found when people are searching for a limo service in Orlando. So, the two factors that I am going to cover are, are related to search engines. These are two factors that search engines consider when they're doing rankings. They obviously consider more than two, but again, for today, keep it short, we're just going to look at these two only. And I'm going to compare you to somebody on this page using those factors. And I want to see if there's any differences. And if there are differences, if there's anything that can be done about it that will move you up in search rankings, okay? When people are looking for Orlando limo service. So we're going to use um, Elite Transportation for comparison since they're on that first page. The first factor I'm going to discuss today is something called citations. A citation is a listing for your business on a directory site. It's a name, address, phone number listing. I'm going to give you an example. Okay, uh, this is a website that goes out and finds directory sites, and here's one called Show Me Local. All right, so if A1 Ocean Drive Airport Transport had a listing on Show Me Local, name, address, phone number listing, that is considered one citation. Now, search engines like citations. The more, the better. They feel it makes you more legitimate as a business, and therefore want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer citations than you do. Now at the top of this page, we actually can do a citation count for your business. And I put you in here, it says you have 161. That's pretty good actually. Elite Transportation has 191. <laughs> so a few more than you. But the good news is, we can quickly and easily add you to these directory sites. So we can get this number 161 bumped up close to 200 in short order. Okay, And if we just do that, it's going to give you a nice little positive boost in search rankings. You'll definitely move up. All right. So that's citations. Second and last item I want to talk about is backlinks. Now, backlinks are important. You're in fairly decent, um, you know, shape as far as citations go, but backlinks need some work, and this is it's going to help you out the most. A backlink is a link from one website to your website. As an example, if there was a website called OrlandoLimoSupplies.com, and on their website they had Ocean Drive Trans and Limo.com, a link to that to your site from their site, that's considered one backlink for you, okay? Now, search engines like backlinks. The more, the better. Again, um, for similar reasons, they feel it makes you more legitimate as a business, and therefore want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer backlinks than you do, all right? Now, this website here actually goes out and does a count of backlinks for your website. So, it's telling me, we want to look at is unique active backlinks, this number right here. It's telling me you have four unique active backlinks. Let's go look at Elite, okay? Okay, Elite has 41, so there's a bit of a difference there. But the good news is we can add backlinks to your site, and we don't need to add 40 either, and I'll tell you why. The reason these are ranking, these guys are ranking, yeah, they got the 41 unique here, but this score is pretty bad. Link influence score is an indicator of how strong the backlinks are that are coming into your website. It's based on how strong the website is that's linking to you. The stronger and better the website, the higher that score is going to be. It really should be closer to 30% on average. So what does that mean to you? Well, this is what's going to make the most difference for you. If we add 8 or 10 good quality backlinks to your site from good quality websites and get your score up to right around 30%, that would be huge for you. You would really jump in the search rankings. You would definitely move up quite a bit. 
All right. So we just talked about citations and backlinks today, but you can see there are some differences between you and someone on the other page of Google. But you're also learning that there are steps we can take to reduce and eliminate those differences. And when we do, which is these two factors alone, give you a very nice positive boost in search rankings. All right. So I hope you found this was helpful. This is what I do for a living, but I don't charge for consulting. So if you want more information about what I talked about today, that's free. Do you want me to cover other factors I do with my other customers regarding rankings? That's free. If you want me to review your website, that's also free. There's no cost. There's no obligation. So if you want to see how I can help you out, give me a call or shoot me an email. Have a great one. Bye now.